Hello guys, welcome to JJK Master Class. As you know that uh, my channel is based on the problems and solutions, especially for MSc Chemistry students. I am solving here your previous years of question papers, which you find tough to understand. Guys, it's my request. If you find my videos useful to you, then like it and share it as much as possible to make my videos viral and to motivate me to keep solving the problem related to your subject. In today's video, we will learn the mutual exclusion principle. The topic is taken from Raman spectroscopy. So we'll see directly one problem here, state mutual exclusion principle, which of the following obeys this rule. So the certain molecules have been given here. You have to find out whether the following molecule follows the mutual exclusion principle or not. So first we will see what is mutual exclusion principle. So if a molecule has a center of symmetry, then the Raman active vibrations will be IR inactive or vice versa. Otherwise, if there is no center of symmetry in the molecule, then some of the vibrations will be both Raman and IR active. So this is the mutual exclusion principle. If they ask you the definition, you define this statement and then we'll understand it by taking one example. So let's see CO2 as an example. You should know the shape of the molecule CO2. Now how to find out the following molecule has a center of symmetry or not? So this is the first step. So, so for that you have to find out the center of the molecule. Here the center of the molecule is carbon. And to find out the center of symmetry, if you move in one direction, let's say here we are moving towards left hand, you are approaching the oxygen atom. Similarly, if you move from the center to the right hand side, similar distance, you are again meeting the oxygen atom. Since it is meeting both sides same atom, on the similar distance, we can say the molecule possesses a center of symmetry. So CO2 has a center of symmetry. Then the first statement will be applicable that some of the Raman active vibrations will be IR inactive and IR active vibrations will be Raman inactive. So for CO2, we know the total number of mode of vibrations are three symmetrical stretching, banding and asymmetrical stretching. There are actually two banding, but it is degenerated having same energy. So you will see here only three vibrations. CO2 being a linear molecule, we know uh, the mode of vibration formula 3n minus 5, where n is the number of atom, that is three atoms are there. So total actually, if you put the value, it should 4, but here two bandings will be degenerated. So we are actually seeing the three vibrations here. And in that, we know IR is based on the change in the dipole moment. So you should know what is what type of molecules are or particular vibrations are IR active or inactive. What is the condition? Similarly, what is the condition for a molecule to be Raman active or inactive? So for to find out the IR activity, there should be change in the dipole moment. For symmetrical stretching, if you stretch the molecule symmetrically, there is no change in the dipole moment and so it is IR inactive. Since the molecule possesses center of symmetry, since it is IR inactive, uh, it will be Raman active. The same symmetrical stretching will be Raman active. Then we can see the other two vibrations like bending and asymmetrical stretchings IR active because of change in the dipole moment and so it will be Raman inactive. So in this way we can say the CO2 is obeying the mutual exclusion principle. Now we will solve for the other molecules. To find out the center of symmetry you should be aware of the shape of the molecule. So C3O2 it is a linear molecule and now to find out the center of symmetry you can see the center of the molecule which is the carbon again and it is symmetrical molecule both side you can see it is carbon oxygen and carbon oxygen on the other side so the molecule do possesses a center of symmetry and we can say the IR active vibrations will be Raman inactive or Raman active vibrations will be IR inactive for C3O2 similarly for C2H2 acetylene 
the center is the triple bond uh, you can see the red dot of my cursor it is the center of the molecule and if you go in both the directions equal distance it is meeting the same atom hydrogen and so we can say the molecule possesses the center of symmetry NO2 NO2 is a bent molecule so you can see here with the lone pair of electron on the oxygen it is bent in shape and the center is nitrogen here but if you notice from the center if you move towards oxygen it is meeting oxygen on the opposite side if you go there is no atom here present so similarly on the other oxygen you can move here in one direction on the opposite side equal distance there is no atom so we can say molecule does not possesses the center of symmetry so in that case some of the vibrations will be both raman and ir active and 2o is a linear molecule the shape of the molecule you should be aware of and the center is nitrogen here again if you move in one direction it is meeting nitrogen opposite direction equal distance it is meeting oxygen a different atom so we can say the molecule does not possesses the center of symmetry no center of symmetry hcl linear molecule the center is you can see the cursor red dot uh, it is the center of the molecule if you go in one direction it is meeting hydrogen on the opposite side equal distance it is meeting chlorine both are different atoms so we can say this again does not possesses the center of symmetry and this is how you can solve and find out the center of symmetry and the mutual exclusion principle i hope you understood it and you can apply it to any number of molecules all the best